I was the eldest of four girls. I had no brothers competing for attention in the family. Uh, our parents really wanted us to succeed in, in education and supported us all the way, so they had high expectations, and I think that's important that parents are supportive and set high expectations. I'd been very involved in student politics and around the big causes like anti-apartheid movement, movement for nuclear disarmament, uh, movement against the Vietnam War, and I realised that you couldn't change government policies without getting politically active. There is still a lot of pretty bad behaviour uh, towards women. It's not tolerable in, in this age to see women treated the way they've been treated in all sorts of sectors, whether we're talking you know, Hollywood or companies. In New Zealand, the law profession has been exposed as dreadful in the way in which older men have treated uh, younger women as interns and young lawyers. Even the student law societies have awful behaviour. And there's a culture change that has to happen there. The biggest obstacle to me was my gender because I was coming up at a time when women really didn't do these things. When I rose to compete for the top level uh, to become the party leader uh, and I was leader of the opposition, I ran into a lot more gender-based comment. You know, people who made comments about women in leadership that they'd never make about men. They'd always comment on your appearance and your clothes and your haircut and was your voice too high or too low. And they really didn't like anything about you. It was all about gender. I think the town is very, very charming. It has a very international flavour with the university and the UN uh, connection the university has. And also it's pretty much on the tri-state border, right? Belgium's there, Germany's just over there, here's the Netherlands. So yeah, it, it, it's got a, a, an outlook that is bigger than just the town itself to its, its neighbourhood, uh, neighbouring countries and the internationalism of the university.